Hello, I'm Wade, and I'm going to tell you all about AI today. Um, artificial intelligence, or AI, is, includes a wide range of technologies, from simple algorithms that allow targeted ads to automated factories that manufacture cutting-edge cars. The landscape is becoming littered with new applications of AI. At the base level, AI is simply a cognitive function from a machine or a line of code that uses predictive or problem-solving behavior. Airline autopiloting, uh, car services like Uber, Amazon's entire production line are all examples of AI in everyday life. Uh, the most impressive in, uh, incarnation of artificial intelligence is IBM's Watson. Developed as an answering bot to participate in the quiz show Jeopardy, it has become a showcase of the possibilities of enhanced machine learning. Now Watson is cloud-based. So where once he had um, the limitations of a database, uh, physical storage, um, however expansive it was, um, now he has limited, limitless library of data to reference. He's used in a wide variety of uh, cap capacities, including predictive medical advice for lung cancer patients, which he's extremely accurate. <laughs> <clears throat> By far the most uh, utilitarian purveyor of artificial intelligence has to be Elon Musk, um, the tech giant. He's been on the cutting edge of uh, research for myriad advancements in space, cyberspace, and industry. He's building reusable rockets for space travel, automating semi-trucks for driverless shipping, and improving the world at large with battery walls that store solar and wind energy. His Tesla motor factories are in, motor factories are an awe-inspiring implementation of automation and AI. <clears throat> With expansive spa uh, spaces of robot arms straight out of an Isaac Asimov story, few humans are seen on the floors of these factories, and Musk himself has been very public in his concerns about AI and how it could potentially destroy our current society. A warning that Zuckerberg glibly shrugged off. Because in Zuck's world, AI is used for a far more capitalistic implementation, bordering on predatory. He uses AI to sell you. His proprietary AI algorithms collect, compile, and predict patterns based on all of its users' activities, likes, friends, family, photos, videos, and browsing history. Then turns around and sells advertised targeted space based on those algorithms. <clears throat> the recent data leak to Cambridge Analytica is a look into how we're being capitalized upon by tragically ironic progressive opportunists who are only interested in the money that progress brings. While Zuckerberg bots his way through the Grand Inquisition, one thing is evident, the genie's out of the bottle. By looking at Facebook's algorithms from a societal communication lens, it is frightening to read that they're now offering a new service to their advertising clients that reportedly predicts future behavior and allows them to interrupt predicted behavior. It's called loyalty prediction. <laughs> and it might be the most frightening phrase ever. It reads kind of like fascism. Um, were these same predictions to be used in a political sphere? It could completely thin the threat of freedom that we use and our democracy. <clears throat> so it's kind of scary. So where's all the good in all this? Um, again, Musk has a lot to gain from AI, auto AI automation, and even he has admitted the detriment his creations might have on society. Uh, many prominent figures in the industry have concerns about AI being a golem, something that can't be pulled back in once it's released. Um, but in scientific and medical research, the potential for good is found. So in China, hospitals have become, begun using powerful robots for patient management. Uh, they're extremely interactive and friendly and cute. And they can ask questions and process patients' uh, answers. So it uses those algorithms to diagnose if it's possible, of which it's 90% accurate, uh, or compile the data to present to doctors, streamlining the medical process. It's used in our smartphones, Siri, Cortana, Alexa, all use the technology to manage our complex digital world. As it gets progressively more complicated, the need will be even greater. AI will continue to evolve its role as interface assistant to our dig digital lives. <clears throat> News dissemination is another big part of the commercial application of AI. While it has its drawbacks, <clears throat> like creating an echo chamber for one's ideologies, <clears throat> the benefits of having specifically targeted news increases the chance of users reading their articles in their feeds, which creates an educated public. <clears throat> if the average user is interested in seeing more dynamic news, it is something that can be easily handled through social media and even through your browser. <clears throat> Once the AI of Facebook or Google has enough data on its users, it can make sure the news they read fits the criteria of the selected likes. 
And that brings up another problem with AI, at least concerning human assistance. And that is that AI will only operate within the parameters of, of its human input. So garbage in is garbage out. Um, if users adjust their algorithms to widen their taste, however uncomfortable it might make them, they'll find a broader spectrum of feedback. So the last and the most concerning aspect of AI is the ethical dilemma. It is likely that AI and its capacity to write its own code could write a code to improve its own cognitive functions, essentially becoming something more intelligent than itself, repeating that formula until it was infinitely smarter than man. While it's been the source of plenty of science fiction, it's now a reality in an advancing world of science and technology. We're on the cusp of this, what is referred to as the singularity, where AI advances at such a rate that a technological evolution occurs, making humans obsolete. Nanotechnology driven by advanced AI could be implanted into our bodies and minds. Researchers at Harvard have already made nano flesh that can be programmed by a computer. Codes can be written into it and data recovered from it. And it uses biofeedback. While it will be decades at least before technology like this could be applied to the human brain, it is not far-fetched to believe that it could be where it's heading. Nanoflesh brain enhancements that allow interface to the cloud, stimulate neural activity, boost adrenaline and norepinephrine, just enough to keep, us, keep up with the robot overlords. That's it.